Hello guys, welcome back to Divine Time and Tarot. This is Tanya. <coughs> Excuse me guys. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Cross watchers, you're always welcome. Hello Divine Time and Tarot family. I love you guys. I thank you. I appreciate you. Guys, there were some things going on with my phone. I did get that situated. But if you guys emailed me like a while back and I didn't respond, that was the reason there was something going on with my phone. So whatever situation it was or whatever um, deal that I had going on for a reading, if you want to re-email me back, I will respond to you, okay? I didn't, it was not something that was done on purpose. I was having issues, okay? This is for my subscribers, okay? Okay, for the month of October, I will have $20 readings, guys. And I would love it if you would subscribe to the channel, especially if I resonate with you, okay? To get that special. So, guys, we're here doing a video for Virgo. This is for the second part of October 2020. I've already shuffled Sage, prayed over the cards. I've already laid down your overall energies, okay? Um, Virgo, hello, hello, hello. Um, your overall energies is patience. This is the temperance card in the regular tarot. And this is, you know, um, healing, doing some healing. Um, this is getting your balance. And this is, I accept that everything happens in divine order. And then you have regret. This is that I know I know that I cannot change the past. So Virgo, I'm getting that you are regretting putting your walls down with someone that you really care about. You gave this person your love. Um I don't know. Once upon a time, you could have been in a situation with this person. But you're regretting, you know, giving this person your love again. Because it looks like you broke your walls down. And, and, and don't get me wrong, because this person cares about you just as much as you care about them. But something unexpected happened here. Something unexpected happened here because the universe came in and knocked this down in some type of way. There was a judgment made here in this situation. Um, some of y'all, um, the self-esteem card came out. So some of y'all is dealing with some issues with y'all self-esteem, y'all self-worth, okay? Always understand that you are worthy, okay? And you know your worth, okay? You don't accept any kind of BS from nobody. Period, okay? Period. So right now, y'all possibly going into hermit mode. You know, y'all doing some soul searching right now, trying to find out some answers, okay? Getting closer to your spiritual side. And that's a good thing, because the hermit card is right here. And this represents Virgo. Yeah, y'all ready to step out on faith on something new. Ace of Pentacles, if your money ain't good now, Virgo, it's about to get real good and your happiness is coming in. But it's something that you was regretting. You was regretting something that you did here. Or, or you let somebody... It looks like, yeah, you regret giving your love to someone. You regret giving your love to someone. So let's see what Tarot has for you, Virgo. Ooh. We have the peace card popped out. You just want peace right now. You want to let go and let God. And see, that's what you're doing here with the hermit card. You're getting closer to your um, spiritual side right here. This is release the past. There is a more enriching future coming for you. Let go and let God, okay? You could be stressing about something with this nine of swords. But guess what? You go into the ten of swords. You you're letting something go. You're ending you you're ending something because it's very difficult. Okay, this is like betrayal. This is like ugh, the worst of the worst. Okay, 
This is betrayal, backstabbing, lying, cheating. You name it, somebody possibly did it to you. That's why you're needing to heal. With this patience card, this is the temperance card. You are needing to heal yourself at this time, Virgo. Okay? Let's see what Tarot has for you. We had the peace card. You want That's all you want right now. You want peace. You don't want no problems. You don't want no trouble. The page of wands. Somebody going to be sending you a message. A Leo Sag or Aries. This is going to be a very... This is going to be something that makes you happy. Okay? And then we have the star card. Some of you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius. You're doing some healing here, Virgo. And that's possibly what you need. You need to heal yourself. This is a dream. This is a wish card. This is a dream that's, that's possibly going to come true for you. This is the end of a difficult situation. You want to get out of something that's been really bothering you. You got the chariot card. You are determined to move forward in something, okay? With On with your life. You're determined to move on with your life. This is self-control. This is career advancement. This is, you know, success, okay? What else we got for Libra? What else we got for Libra? We have the world card. You're ending something. This You're ending a cycle. Something was not good here, Libra. And you're ending it. You're making that decision. You're making that judgment. <clears throat> Somebody's definitely been spying. Someone has definitely been spying. Somebody has been stressing. Possibly because something has ended. I don't know. I'm not sure. But anywho. Let's get some clarification. Get you a little bit more information. Why is the peace card here for Virgo? Why is the peace card here for Virgo? The Ten of Pentacles again. Like I said, if your money ain't good, it's about to get good. So whatever y'all doing, keep doing it. Somebody feels that you are a wish fulfillment of, of theirs, um, Virgo. And you are emotionally fulfilling somebody here, Okay. We got the nine of cups. You could be doing a little bit of too much partying too with somebody. I don't know. This is what it's saying right here. You know, you got success. You're getting a lot of attention here from somebody. But that's ending. I don't know why. We got the ten of swords here. Something is ending. You're putting your foot down on something here. Why is the peace card here for Virgo? Why is the peace card here for Virgo? The peace card. Why is the peace card here for Virgo? Why is the peace card here for Virgo? We have the Prince of Pentacles. Mm. Some of y'all could be pregnant. If you don't want to be, uh, you better watch it. We got the Prince of Pentacles, but she's pregnant. If you can see, she's holding her belly. She's pregnant. Somebody wants to offer you something here very stable and grounded or maybe you you're you manifesting something stable and grounded for yourself virgo okay um we got the magician here you're manifesting the things that you want why is the page of wands here for virgo we got the four of cups somebody's gonna send you a message but <clears throat> you're not too happy somebody gonna send you a passionate message but you're not too happy. You know, something is getting very boring for you. You're not emotionally fulfilled in a situation, but it seems like you are a wish for somebody and you are emotionally fulfilling somebody, but you're not getting the same thing here, Virgo. You're not getting, this isn't, there's not an equal give and take in a situation here, Virgo. Ace of Pentacles. Your money, your money, your money is going to be good. OMG. You keep on getting these money cards. But anyway, universe is offering you a new beginning. Somebody is going to call you and want to offer you a new beginning here, Virgo. This is in abundance, okay? This could be a new home. Why is the star card here? The ace of wands. OMG. Somebody got a whole lot of passion for you, honey. Uh-huh. And they want to... They wishing and hoping on a new beginning, a new passionate beginning with you. Somebody wants to invest here in you, Virgo. 
This is the seven of pentacles. This is investing. This is waiting on something to come to fruition. Why is the chariot here? Why is the chariot here? You're definitely moving forward, but you're ending a cycle here. We have the eight of pentacles. Yes, yeah, somebody want to work on something with you. Why is the ace of pentacles here with the eight of pentacles here with the chariot? We have the world card and it's in the reverse. Somebody does not want something to end here, Virgo. They want to work on this, okay? Somebody does not want something to end. Why is the world card? But you do. You want this to end. The queen of pentacles, that's you right there. Being very stable, grounded, you know, getting working on your money. Going to get your money because your money coming in, Virgo. It's coming in, so don't even worry about your money. It's your love life that's got a problem here. It's a problem here with your love life, okay? Why is the queen of pentacles here? Why is the queen of pentacles here? The five of pentacles. Somebody's feeling left out and abandoned. This could be you or the person that you're dealing with. This is somebody's ending something, wanting to end something. I don't know if this is you or somebody else, Virgo, but somebody don't want something to end, okay? This person is feeling very left out. What is the decision here? You got the decision to make, and you're going to make a judgment. But this person wants a second chance. Why is decision here? Why is decision here? The moon, there's secrets. There's some secrets here. This is why you got to make this decision, because somebody is doing some sneaky shit here. Why is the moon here? The king of wands. Somebody trying to be a little player player here. A Leo, Sag, or Aries. Or this is somebody that has a whole lot of passion for you. That ass of yours. Okay. Why is the king of wands here? Why is the king of wands here? This is the ten of wands. This is becoming a burden for you. This is definitely becoming a burden for you. Ooh, we got the Prince of Wands again at the at the end of the tech at the end of the deck. The Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. The Three of Cups. Temperance. Damn. Somebody definitely wants to get with you, Virgo. Okay, they want to build with you. You make this person happy. You emotionally fulfill this person. They want to reunite with you. Uh-huh. And they hoping and praying. That you're going to accept them back. They're going to damn sure send you a message. They're going to send you a message. And you might go for it. Somebody is spying. You could be spying on this person. Yeah, you make this person real happy. We got the sun card here. Something is going to be illuminated though, um, Virgo. Something ain't right here. Because we got the moon card here. Somebody could be possibly dealing with somebody else. Damn, wasn't this, wasn't this going on in your last video? Is is, is some something is still going on here? Something is still going on here. What's the advice here? Guys, what's the advice here for Virgo? What's the advice here for Virgo? Thank you so much. Okay, some clarity is about to come out here. Okay? And the Six of Pentacles, somebody's given to two people here, Virgo. You're going to be strong about the situation. You're going to control your, your emotions. But something is about to happen quickly here, okay? So, give me another piece of advice for Virgo, guys. What else you got for Virgo? Okay. We got the date card. This is meeting someone new. <clears throat> this is meeting someone new, Virgo. This is dating and getting back out there. This is planning. This is, you know, setting a date. And then we have abundance. Well, I didn't I tell you your money about to get big? OMG, this is keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. <coughs> have gratitude and bliss. Okay, and then we have not enough. Something is not enough here. And it could be the situation that you're dealing with, okay? This is frustrating. Whatever relationship that you went back to or regret that you did, this this relationship is very frustrating, okay? And this and it's messing with your self-esteem. Okay, it's giving you a lack of, of confidence. This is self-sabotage. This is fear, ego. Somebody is in their ego. This is jealousy, okay? 
So maybe you need to step back from something, okay? It's time for you to step back from something because, and it's time for you to love on yourself. This is, you know, focus on you, your self-work, your time to heal, shadow work. It's time for you to um, start thinking about you, okay? Virgo, if this resonated with you, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.